Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is lecture number 17 and today we are going to study one phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier with RE load. So first see this circuit of rectifier. In this load is RE type. In the load a resistance R and a DC EMF E is connected in series. We get output voltage V0 across this RE load. This RE load is connected in series with this diode. And this whole circuit is supplied with supply voltage Vs and that is equals to Vm sin omega t. Here this is sinusoidal voltage Vs and this red dotted line is EMF E. Now we can clearly see that this supply voltage Vs and this EMF E intersect at this point. This point is at theta. So the intersection of Vs and E occurs at angle theta. Now what is angle theta? Now at this point theta, the equation of sine wave is Vm sine theta. And at this point, this Vm sine theta is equals to E. That's why we get E is equals to Vm sine theta. So from this equation, we get theta is equals to sine inverse E by M. We can understand the operation of this circuit in four angular slot. First, we will see the operation from zero to theta, then from theta to pi minus theta then pi minus theta to pi and then pi to 2 pi. First, we will see the operation from 0 to theta. From 0 to theta, we can clearly see from the waveform that this EMF E lies above this Vs or we can say that Vs is less than E. When Vs is less than E and we know that voltage across diode is equals to Vs minus E. So when this Vs is less than E, we get Vd negative. Negative Vd means drop across diode is negative. Or we can say that diode is reverse bias. And during reverse bias, diode acts as open circuit. So from 0 to theta, diode is reverse bias and act as open circuit. And what is voltage V0? V0 is equals to E. Why? Because V0 is equals to I0 R plus E. Here when diode is open circuit, then current in this circuit is equals to zero. That's why when current is equals to zero, we get this I0 R is equals to zero. That's why V0 is equals to E. So from zero to theta I0 is equals to zero and V0 is equals to E. As I already told you, Vd is equals to Vs minus E and P0 as V0 is greater than 0, I0 is equals to 0. That's why P0 which is equals to V0 into I0 is equals to 0. Here we can clearly see that from 0 to theta in waveform, V0 is equals to E, I0 is equals to 0 and Vd has the waveform Vs minus E. Now what is this point which lies at omega t is equals to 0? At omega t is equals to 0, if we can clearly see that this Vs is equals to 0, that's why we get Vs minus E is equals to minus E. So this point is minus E. Okay, and at theta, Vs is equals to E, that's why we get drop across diode is equals to 0. Now we will see the operation from theta to pi minus theta. From theta to pi minus theta, we can clearly see that waveform of sinusoidal voltage that is Vm sin omega t lies above EMF E. So when Vs is greater than E, then we get Vd positive. Okay, because Vd is equals to Vs minus E. So when Vd is positive, it means diode is forward bias and diode start conducting. So when diode start conducting, 
this supply voltage or source voltage Vs appear across the load. That's why we get V0 is equals to Vs. Now what is current I0? If we apply KVL in this loop, then we get I0 R plus E is equals to Vs. So we get I0 is equals to Vs minus E by R. And we know that V0 is equals to Vs. That's why we can write V0 minus E by R is equals to I0. When diode is forward biased, then drop across diode is equals to 0. That's why Vd is equals to 0. And P0, as we know that V0 is greater than 0 from, pi, uh, from theta to pi minus theta. And I0 is also greater than 0. That's why P0 is greater than 0. Or we can say that power flows from source to load. Now we will see the operation of circuit from pi minus theta to pi. From pi minus theta to pi, we can see in the waveform this EMF E lies above this sinusoidal voltage Vs. That's why Vs is less than E and we know that voltage across diode is equals to Vs minus E. So we get Vd negative. Negative drop across diode means diode is reverse bias and act as open circuit. When diode is open circuit, then current in the loop is equals to zero. When current is zero, we get V0 is equals to EMF E. And what is power P0? P0 is equals to zero because current in this circuit from pi minus theta to pi is equals to zero. Now we will see the operation from pi to pi to 2 pi. From pi to 2 pi, the polarity of sinusoidal waveform reverses. When this polarity reverses, then we get Vd negative because Vd is equals to Vs minus E and when Vs is negative and EMF E minus EMF E, we get Vd negative. That's why diode is reverse bias from pi to 2 pi and during reverse bias diode act as open circuit and what is output voltage when diode is reverse bias it act as open circuit that's why we get zero current in this loop so current from pi to 2 pi is equals to zero and that's why this drop i naught r is equals to zero and we get v naught is equals to emf e now what is drop across diode as during this spread, diode is reverse bias, that's why we get Vd is equals to Vs minus E. What is output power P0? P0 is simply equals to 0 because from pi to 2 pi, output current I0 is equals to 0. That's why P0 that is equals to V0 into I0 is equals to 0. So this is the waveform of diode voltage. Here it is equals to Vs minus E. Now what is this peak? At this peak this Vs is equals to Vm and EMF is E. So if we put Vs is equals to Vm then we get peak that is equals to minus Vm plus E. Okay. So these are the waveform of this circuit. I hope you like this video. Thank you, Jashia. Now we will calculate various parameters for this rectifier circuit. First is V0 average. V0 average is equals to I0 average R plus E. Now what is I0 average? I0 average is simply equals to 1 upon T integration 0 to T equation of current dot dt. Now what is equation of current out, uh, output current I0? Equation is Vm sin omega t minus E by R. If we integrate this equation from theta to pi minus theta because we get current only from theta to pi minus theta. That's why integrating this equation from theta to pi minus theta and divide it by total time period that is equals to 2 pi, we get I0 average is equals to 1 upon 2 pi r 
2 vm cos theta minus e in bracket pi minus 2 theta. So this is really important equation. Once we get this equation for i naught average, then we can easily calculate v naught average. Now what is RMS value of output voltage? We know that we get output voltage from 0 to 2 pi. But the equation from 0 to 2 pi that of output voltage is different. From 0 to theta, V naught is equals to E. And from theta to pi minus theta, V naught is equals to Vm sin omega t. And from pi minus theta to 2 pi, it is equals to EMF E. So, if we integrate this, then how we can get RMS value? RMS value is equals to 1 upon root t under root of integration 0 to theta square of equation of voltage from 0 to theta that is equals to E square dot d omega t plus integration theta to pi minus theta Vm sin omega t square dot d omega t here it is plus okay so if we put plus here okay and plus pi minus theta to 2 pi e square d omega t so on integrating this we can get the rms value of output voltage and what is rms value of output current that is simply equals to v naught rms minus e by r now this load is voltage stiff why it is voltage stiff because here we can see that the waveform of output voltage v naught is similar to I naught. Here we see that waveform of voltage is like this, and waveform of current is also like this. These two waveforms are similar, and why this is voltage stiff? Because load is resistive. In case of resistive load, we get waveform of voltage and current similar. This is half wave uncontrolled rectifier and output power P, P naught in case of voltage stiff load is not given by V naught average into I naught average. It is given by I naught RMS square into R plus E into I naught average. So this is the equation of output power P naught. So here to get the output power P naught you must know the RMS value of output current and average value of output current both while in case of current stiff load p naught is equals to i naught average into v naught average so to get the output power you only need to calculate i naught average but in this case you need to calculate both i naught rms and i naught average to get the output power p naught now what is input power factor we know that this diode is ideal and there there are no losses across the diode that's why we get rms value of source voltage into rms value of source current into input power factor cos phi that is equals to output power which is given by this expression so simply equating these two input and output power we can calculate cos power factor cos phi from this equation now what is conduction angle of diode this is very simple. We know that diode only conduct from theta to pi minus theta when Vs is greater than E. And we know that Vs is greater than E only for this spread. That is from pi minus theta to theta. Okay, this is pi minus theta and this is theta. So due, only during this spread Vs is greater than E. That's why conduction angle of diode is equals to pi minus theta minus theta that is equals to pi minus 2 theta. Okay, now what is angle, uh, what is peak inverse voltage? This is not important. What is peak inverse voltage? Peak inverse voltage is the maximum reverse voltage that appear across diode. And here we, I, as I told you, maximum reverse voltage is equals to minus in bracket Vm plus E. Okay, that's why this is the peak inverse voltage. What is circuit turn off time TC? It is the time period for which diode is reverse wise. From 0 to 2 pi, we can clearly see that diode is reverse wise 
for this period okay for this much period diode is reverse bias during this time so what we get we get this 2 pi minus pi minus theta plus theta how we get this suppose this is pi minus theta okay and what is this this is 2 pi and this is 2 pi plus theta okay now what is this period this period is simply equals to 2 pi minus pi minus theta and what is this this is equals to theta so what is uh, angle for which diode is reverse wise that is equals to 2 pi minus pi minus theta plus theta and we get pi plus 2 theta so circuit turn of time is equals to pi plus 2 theta by omega so this is all about this video i hope you got the concept thank you yash yaram if you got the knowledge and concepts from this video then please like the video and subscribe the channel you can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming video. Thank you.